Hello there, everyone, and salutations. I'm your host, Mr. Jim and Reichlub. But right now, it is February 27th, 1938. And we're doing quite well. Um, Spain has fallen. Of course, like we saw it, we might have seen it earlier. I can't remember the time it's recording anymore. It's been a few days since the last video and this one. The British have done extraordinarily well. They are ridiculously very strong right now, which gave me the go ahead when just go ahead and push because the French, well, I don't know what happened to their soldiers. There used to be a lot more guys here, but now they must have all like left or died or something like that. I'm not going to question things. So even then, we don't have a ton of divisions on this front too, but the Russians, well, they're not doing great. Which is okay with us, don't get me wrong. It's definitely okay with us. Wow, they have no fuel. And you guys have like, uh, not a great amount of fuel. I don't get any more from anywhere. Mexico, Acadia, West Indies. These are so far away. Um... We try Mexico, I guess. But we've got some comments to go through as well, such as great gameplay and narrative as always, says someone. Someone says next gameplay in this mode, Edward the Eighth shows that the world the, that the British Empire is not even close to its zenith. All hail Edward the Great. Oh, Eighth the Great? Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, hello. Oh. They defeated the Dutch government in exile in a war. Well. Alright then. And we don't even have any, any super, like, super walker ro robot deployed things, but okay. Uh, someone says, honestly, I didn't think it was gonna, I was going to like this mod at first, but now I'm happy I'm wrong. Oh, I see why. Why are they, why are they capitulating now? Is this where all the divisions are at? Yeah, maybe. Here, take that division out. Dietzlin's Falls, David and the Goliath. Someone else says, so a few things. The walkers seem to replace tanks. Razor maidens replace their spec ops. I do think you could do with strengthening your domestic economy. Another thing is that rock artillery is really, really good. Gives you a crap ton of soft tech and be heavily upgraded if you want to specialize them. Um, it can be worth employing them. Actually, what is like support, artillery, automex, auto stuff? Ati. Rocket artillery, of course, but motorized already might be f more fun too. I never really ever use like rocket artillery. Do you guys ever use it? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, there it is. Improved rocket launchers. Whoa, plus 30%. Of course, I do remember that stuff. Rocket launchers. 25 soft attack. These guys give you 30. Oh no, 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 it gives you 30 over there. Eventually, get even more around here because these guys give you 38. Interesting, huh? And that, of course, that one's right there. Proximity fuse. Oh wow. Well, let's see what we can do. Because no one's guarding Paris. Maybe. All right. And it's still all green on this front, so. I'm not so concerned about this. I'm more concerned about taking Paris. Never mind, we have Paris. Okay. Are we doing any focuses? Our own British walking development course? How terrible. Um, here are the casualties. Not bad. We have suffered 130,000. The British have suffered more than double, but they've done... Actually, we've, we've got a lot more total war score participation than them. A lot more. Now these guys are kind of spilling over here, which is not good, but... That's alright. I think we should have them under control. We'll see, of course. Bench rockets, rocket artillery. Grab some of that as well. If you can, please spread it out just a wee bit more because... Seriously, where are the divisions? Nice. Oh, they have a fleet there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But hopefully they're trying to move soldiers out so that this way we can bomb them and kill them all off. That'll be nice. You, me, and now Jim and Reich. What could be better than that? Yeah, go that direction. Do we have anything else here? Scout drones. Scout drones. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, we've definitely purged. Purged or, you know, advanced very far into France. Rouen is now Oz as well. They beat up the Dutch boys, but at what cost? Well, as the Second Great War comes to close, the dream's gone, the people silence their minds. Well, alright, everybody. I hope you like a good old time against some of their Russian boys, cause we're all headed towards that damn direction. That's what we can really concentrate ourselves too. Well, the occupied France. Oh, Raoul Salon. Well, thanks for joining the League of the Nations, my boy. We're also trying to fight the Ottomans and all of them over there, but hey, okay then. <laughs> all right then. Someone else says, I hope you like reading my events and localization of the German economic and armature and also the unrest events. So, that was by Juicy Tapir at the time of this recording, so, if you actually did write them, thank you, I appreciate it. I like, I like, what I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far with this mod. 
So also says, a cool thing to do would be play as two bit verse as a revanche of French Empire after Germany. So also says, those Polish states' borders are so vanilla it hurts. Yes. So also says, Common Mocha Lover, I require to play the Armandus Nazbal France in the mod. In return, I bless you with the algorithm. So, we gotta play a lot of different uh, campaigns in this mod. <clears throat> Someone else says, Could you do a Netherlands Burgundian route from Tiano or do SS Oldenstadt Banat from a thousand week Reich? Yes, I can. And eventually, well, especially Banat. I like Banat. I definitely want to play Banat with, well, with for you guys and with you guys. So, so, someone else says, Place France. Not, someone else says, Not gonna lie, I hate the new flag. Yeah, it looks like a Nordic flag, someone else did say. So, it is what it is. But we should do all right. Actually, we're doing more than all right. We're doing extraordinarily well. I don't know why we're doing so well. Goshen declared war on the kingdom of Swaziland. Okay, then. We don't even have our land auction done. How are you doing so well? Russian Baltic governance. Nice. All that stuff here, too, but you don't really care about too much right now anymore. Uh, builds. What are we building? Factories, and what is this? Infrastructure? Okay, that's nice. Whatever. Um, air stuff? Why not? There you go. Now, we talked about these last time. Uh, we finished this stuff. We still got a lot of stuff all around here, too. We still have to victory as well. Um, experts in heavy machinery production. In this day and age, it's vital to make sure the workload of a worker can be done so efficiently and quality ensuring as possible. We can ensure this process by putting heavy machinery in all factories, which can speed up the workload and even increase the output of the factories. As we will replace many workers whose work now is no longer needed and are replaced by more efficient machines. Which is true. I want you guys to be really concentrated in the north. Even though fighting in northern Russia is going to be a pain in the tuckus. Oh, Spain was released. Sure, guys. Federated Kingdom of Spain. What type of fucking frag flag is that? Charles III? Bro, what'd you do? Wait, do we have a motorized in this one? Oh. Are you the infantry intervention in South Africa? Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. There you go. You do this one. You guys are there. Uh, what do you mean intervention in South Africa? You guys just go ahead? Eh, see what you can do. I don't know. Ah, LNT. Verein Front. As long as you don't actually kill South Africa or the Kingdom of Dietzlin. I'm okay with it. Von Trasco? You sound familiar. I wonder where you're from. Purge local enemies? I kind of like that idea, but... We gotta still check the Czech Legion. Why are they so flippin' weak? I have to definitely play as Rush to see how, why they're so bad. And probably complain a whole bunch when I play as them, too. National's Revolts, Scourge of the Motherland, Revenge for the Fallen, still. No extra defense. They got a million manpower, still. Well, that would explain they have nothing. Nuclear research? I think someone was asking, how do we research, uh, like, bombs and stuff? Oh, we must be out of equipment. Live wire, huh? Oh, we're out of manpower. That's not good. Oh, we're really out of guns. That's really not good. There you go. Still have quite a few quadrupods. We can lower to four, maybe. And we definitely need some more manpower. A good extensive conscription after this. And then uh, we have become Lord of Death. I think this was the last time we did it. It is done. It is finals here. The future has arrived. The future of the power, electricity, and technology itself. The new progress in that sector has increased uh, electricity production significantly. But that is not all. We can also deal massive amounts of damage to advancing armies by exterminating them in one fell swoop and in a mere second. Without a second thought, hundreds can die without minutes. Within, within minutes. All because one person clicked a button. Nice. Save some manpower for now. And these Panzer Divisions? Uh, I always recommend using Quadrupods. So, we'll probably use that. It's slightly slower, but you get more HP, actually. Organization does get hit. And you get way more soft stack and stuff like that, so... Um, quadrupods, or actually, what do we replace them with? No, not that one. Um, quadrupods, and then threw on some more stuff for organization because organization is really. Can I use these? Amalgamates. Copy width goes up. Everything else goes up too, though. HP goes way up. 12 combat width. Needs more? Do we have enough of these? Not really. This really hurts our uh, armor and stuff. 
could try it. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, that costs a lot of army XP. Holy shnikey fathers. Does this give us anything else? No? Hmm. Balls deep in Russia. Or really soon to be balls deep. I love to do that, but we need more manpower. <clears throat> All right, do this too, and get some air bases. We're probably gonna need them all over the place. We have done it. Oh, did I not supposed to read that one yet? Become Lords of Death. Yeah, there's that one. And then the central pillar of Europe. Finally, the new German and he has achieved something the previous governments have failed at, at full economic recovery. We may have been severely weakened by the stock crash in 1910, which put our nation and its people into almost everlasting depression. We can now say with confidence that we've come out of the depression stronger than ever and able to take on any foe who wishes to anger or pick a fight with us. Alright then. Sorry, Edson. Yes, please. Do we win? Oh no. It must be us, because it's lagging so hard. Uh, okay, European v League victorious. As hostilities fall away, Europe finds itself uh, being but unbroken. France and Russia have been driven into occupation or civil war, and the Anglo German alliance has just shaped the continent to their liking. To the surprise of few, tensions remain high between London and Frankfurt over the division of the continent. As Europe rebuilds, many turn to the East as an alternative, sparking fears that this Oriental crisis may spark another global conflict. Oh. Despite our. Pro oh. Wait, we can't. Oh, we have to do this first? Are you kidding me? What? Why? Despite a precarious situation between Russia and France, we have achieved what seemed to be impossible. The German flag now flies high over Paris and, Mos and Moscow. Bright beacons of hope and liberty in the new era. Establish a common German market. <laughs> we may have won the war militarily, but economically we are in ruins. And so the rest of the continent, so the national government proposes a treaty that our continental neighbors. Dietzens, Denmark, Sweden, and Switzerland. This treaty of our agreement will establish a common European market in which all members are allowed to trade freely without tariffs or blockades. Some people have started to call this treaty the New European Agreement. Hopefully we can expand the treaty to, to other nations so we can keep Europe in peace because of our economic ties. Whoa! Occitania. Of course, occupied France. Brittany. Wallonia is back. Dietzland is back here, too. Um, so does that. Not really much, too much change there. Denmark is up there. Congress, Poland. Why are you so a puppet of them? That makes no sense. Denikin? Why are you so puppet so... What? British Mandate? Why did they British get it? What? Henry Wilson? Why do you guys get this? You, what? Well, how much, do you see how much of the German army we have over here? I guess we get the German Mandate. Hugo Sparrow. Alright, but still. Is that all we get? Caucus Vice Royalty? I feel cheated, man. I feel cheated. What is this? Ashimant Arabia? You... What is all this? United States of China, Revolutionary Army Federation of Yakutia, allied with the People's State of Vratia, United States of the Far East, and Green Ukraine. Why is Nikolai Bukharin exiled all the way out there? Oh, what the crap is this? Holy smoky daddies. What happened here? Okay, we're concluding. God, King, and Country for All. What's going on here? Why did why did they get all Prussia? A bear finally cried, Uncle. What? Oh, oh my goodness! Polish transition authority. Okay. Why is so much Jacobins and state socialists anti-treaty insurrection? What? The war hasn't quite ended. Oh. Coalition and Russian generals have broken out from the imperial government and announced the terms of the armistice. But I want to put first the old government and then resuming hostilities so the Holy Russia is liberated once more. Leaguers refuse to comment on the increasingly precarious military situation in West Russia. The war hasn't quite ended, apparently. Sir Yvonne Kirkpatrick. Well then. Well, at least there's something going on. I like that they have ads here, too. Be prepared. F fresh or flash matik. Don't be bald. Okay, it's lagging extraordinarily hard. Is this normal? 
It's still 23, 24th of June. Uh, okay, this is really not good. Well, as soon as... Oh, well, of course. Russian Civil War. Well, we need another one, I guess. What do we have up here? McCreary? Matthew Ridgway. Aren't you American? International Military Commission in Belarus. Baltic International Reconstruction Authority. Ukrainian Interim National Unity Government. Okay, then. Oh, crap. Oh, my. No wonder it lasted so hard. We do have any good extensive conscription, but since we're going to wait for now. Uh, check Legion. All Russian Provisional Republican Army. Russian Commerce Council Republic. Russian Anti Treaty Insurrection. You're all a confederacy. Oh, Konstantin Rozhevsky. Hey, Rozhevsky. Czech Legion Falls. The troops started to enter the city in the morning, hoping to catch a separatist by surprise, but I seemed that information about the raided leak and the Czechs had fortified their HQ, ready to fight for their independence. After three hours of exhausting city fighting, the troops had to retreat. Had to retreat. Casualties were high, and the morale of the Czechs appeared to grow and stronger. Seeing such heavy resistance, the government finally decided to show no more restraint in the matter. In the next hours, special mortar teams, armored cars, and even flamethrowers arrived on the scene. The second battle was over quickly with the complete destruction of the Czech legions. While some elements of the legion must have gone underground, the leadership finally decided to fight until the better end. Just as Schnezjarek personally fought with his machine gun until he was burned alive by a Flammenwerf, a unit. Some politicians are already showing some kind of regret for this kind of bloody battle, not out of sympathy, but rather out of fear that we just elevated the dead of the legion to martyrs for the cause. Let's hope they learn the lesson. Alash Orda, of course. Um, Siberian White Army. Hey, Boris! Siberian Revolutionary C Command Council and stuff. Uh, All Russian Military Union. Huh. So to get a landship brigade. Russian Solidarist Army. Nikolai of Protected Zone. So basically, they're not such warlords. Basically, it's TNO at this point. Tomsky. Anastasia! Wait, Anastasia? Huh. Anglo-Siberian Commonwealth, okay. Russian National Reclamation Committee, Bonsiatsky, and of course these guys over here too. Uh, class Authority, like no just like a TNO. And then over here, Free Finnish Army. The Winter War. Armor, Tech, and Defense, holy crap, yeah, no point using that then. Well, we're building Germany. With much of the western and eastern states of Germany entirely leveled by invading pack forces, the Reichstag had found itself necessary to grant a large amount of sum of money to various industrial sectors to rebuild and revitalize a nation. We're from Taz of Britain. <clears throat> Demilitarization. I don't want to go there. Holy crap, recruitable population minus 25%. Are you insane? Never forget. Never forgive. Uh. Well, I want to say never forget. Because it makes more sense. Economic health improves. You remember that? Please go ahead. Yay. Read about if you like to read about this, please go ahead. Because uh, we'll play Germany again sometime. And we'll probably go this way, but we'll probably never forgive. War comes at a cost. Costs men, money, resources, and much more. Though we now stand victorious in France and install our puppet. The question is now whether we want to give the French people for all they've caused. We believe that we should not forgive them. They caused the war. They killed our heroic soldiers. They should be paid by being isolated in ruins and occupied forever. We can never again let any French man do that to a greater nation ever again, and we shall never forgive them. Okay. Oh, yeah, we still have our stuff over there, too. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Pacification Army. Transbokal? Oh. Siskalskasia. Look at that mustache. Dagestan? This guy? Astrakhan? Oh, yeah. Transcalcasian's Provisional Mandate. Thorbez. Uh, the Franco German Foreign Legion. The French Foreign Legion is well known of army uh, consisting of French and uh, other soldiers. It's a force to be reckoned with, but since we now stand victorious once more, we do not wish to disband the famed Legion, but rather add to it by creating the French German Legion. As far as peace will basically be the same one as the French one. But also consider German interests and have a German commander from time to time. There's now peace in Europe. We decided to rebrand as interna in, uh, internationalist, but interventionist. Force for colonial wars rather than a real Legion for a real war. And just like the French one, we won't only be accepting German and French citizens into it, but also all the others who wish to join or ask, or those who we ask to join it. Purge all slaves national alliance. Oh, help rebuild these guys too. Assist in rebuilding the Polish industry. Slow up finding these guys? Yeah, might as well. Trade. 
train. I want my Prussia. Oh, he's going to too. Alsace National Union falls. Ah, oh, the Alsace National Union at long last has been crushed by the overwhelming force of the German military. Deployed in mass to the region, the German troops located and snuffed out as many of the group hideouts, forcing their leadership to flee to France. Well, probably not. Though there may need to be a need to maintain a security force deployment in the region for some time, at least for now, the ALNU has been definitively crushed. Burning heck, French dudes. Ah, oh, that guy. Well, I hope it's peaceful. Military survival kits? Reliability, production costs. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. Never forgive. And then the Alsace issue. Looking forward. Oh, that's good. Deal with the French colonizers. Hold down collaborator. Status of the Empire. Dreams of a greater Europe. The following nations will be annexed if they exist. What? Ooh. Burgundy? Wait, how do you get Burgundy? It's Wallonia here. Is there any Burgundy here? No? No. Oh. The Alsace issue. The French... Oh are no position to bargain, yet we do hold sympathies for the French people somewhat. Especially on the topic of imperial provinces of the Alsace-Lorraine, we have decided that in order to ensure peace, the French government will be forced to give up the claims on the province of Alsace-Lorraine, and <clears throat> that they will never try to claim the land again or fight a war for it. This agreement will be known as the Eternal Treaty of Strasbourg to make sure they can never break it. And, of course, looking forward. Now that all nations are starting to rebuild and make use of the new free trade agreement, we believe it's finally time to say we're looking forward to a bright future. A future in which our children won't have to endure war, depression, ruins, and all the other horrors that come with fighting a global conflict. A future in which technology, science, and culture will flourish and where our people can express their freedoms and thoughts. Alas, and peace shall bring us greatness. Did you actually lose down here? No. Okay. I'm like, what's going on down here? Who's being dumb? Actually, you did lose. Okay. <laughs> you actually lost. Oh my goodness. Being dumb. Real dumb. Incredibly stupid. I'm disappointed that we don't get more. I want more. Panzer Division. We didn't even get to really use them. I should convert this. We would get more or less hardness. We get more hardness, which would be very nice, actually. We like it hard. For that, looking forward, of course. Um, Reform tabs of Britain. Britain has proved to be a worthy ally to the German nation. They proved vital in their success against the French and Russians, and we wish to continue this long and fruitful relationship. Deal with the French colonizers. France, during the Second Great War, made a great effort to colonize the Lowlands and Rhineland. This includes the process of forcefully ousting families from their homes and jobs and getting granting French families these new vacant positions. Stand in reverse this great curse and restore what was rightfully, what's rightfully ours, the German century. While our nation may be laying ruin, nothing can destroy the German spirit. Already may have taken part in laying the first foundation for future generations. These bricks will be what the next great monuments of the German nation will be built upon, and she'll take great pride in this fact. And we'll talk about this one just a little bit, too. Oh, or we'll talk about that in just a little bit, too. Demilitarization, of course. Um, with the war now over, the Reichstag sees no reason for the German nation to have a large military force exceeding its already tight budget. Time has come now to strip those men of their rifles and send them back and back home. We're joining the League of Nations. We owe it to the Anglos for the help in the Second Great War. If it wasn't for them, their empire might have been a slave to the French and Russians for all known time. Because of their assistance, we're more than willing to rejoin the League of Nations alliance. The Lyon Trials, with the defeat of the Pax Revanchista. By Lee Cannon, the difficult task of trial of the many war criminals needs to be addressed. We have already said that the largely intact French city of Lyon will serve us well for court proceedings. The Italian dispute. The territory of the Sud Tyrol and Istria house a major majority of Italian population, a fact which has always been a continuous topic between German and Italy Italian diplomats. Now the German government must well decide whether it wishes to continue administering these regions or if it wishes to grant <clears throat> uh, autonomy or Italy these lands instead. I don't want to give up lands, especially as a reactionary government. Yeah, I don't think so. Also, someone was asking, how do we... Uh, well, actually, experience loss. It should have, yes. Um, use chemical warfare. You just research it. Chemical weapons could now be deployed and get more attacked this way. Local supplies go down, less uh, division organization. Deployed chemical weapons will produce the following effects on the states deployed in. Very cool. Rockets? Why not? Quadrupods? Quadrupods better? Italian dispute. Oh my gosh. The conference on the status of the French and Russian war criminals on the Second Great War, simply known as the Lyon Trials, was held at 10 o'clock in the morning within the French city of Lyon. The city miraculously avoided any major urban firefights or long drawn-out sieges thanks to the mayor's willingness to surrender the French garrison in the city without much of a fight. The location was decided upon the, after both the Germans and British government had jointly decided that Paris was simply not suitable to host any form of official conference, let alone one that would decide the fate of the many war criminals that come out during the war. 
Parisian infrastructure was virtually non-existent, and both parties quickly decided that the largely intact Lyon would suit the conference best, with the court hearings and proceedings held within the once defunct Parliament House. Also, we did all this stuff with Poland as well. So, <clears throat> the first matter of the trials was the topic of the SP and the role in the war. Many it's disturbing atrocities, especially towards some Jews, that have taken place under the SP leadership. And whilst the investigation of some of the worst of these atrocities are still ongoing, the verdict has been made clear by the court, death for hanging by hanging for those responsible for the crimes against humanity. The next topic of discussion was that of the French and Russian military. Numerous violations of the rules of war were broken on many occasions on by important individuals or originating from the armed forces of these nations, and it could be argued that such individuals were responsible for the French. Uh, warmongering attitude. The court decided on a case-by-case -case basis that many high-ranking and military officials had either received the death penalty or life imprisonment. The final discussion of this or point of the day was that the individuals who held government jobs and country leaders themselves, both economists under the French and Russian government, utilized slavery in different forms to fill their war machines. They are also complacent in the ministry treatment of prisoners of war as well as occupied populations and arguably encouraged it. These government officials mostly got away from having the death penalty besides some extreme cases. Finally, was the topic of the leaders of France and Russia. It was the most long and drawn-out area of Leon trials and laws on either side passed argue that both parties were responsible for the environment that led these nations to the path of war. They also pointed out the hypocrisy of the British and German empires, who achieved the world status by conquering other nations much in the same vein as the French and Russian governments. But the court did not budge and came to the conclusion that both leaders were to be hanged and their bodies cremated in undisclosed locations. Wow. By the end of the week, the trials concluded that most individuals responsible for these horrors of the Second Great War were either dead and locked up indefinitely. Europe must now rebuild itself piece by piece and undo the mistakes of the past, also face the monster of vengeance once again. Death is justice, and don't hunt down the collaborators. Some members of our armed forces dared to ally with the seemingly victorious French and Russian regimes. They argued to authorities in the night of their arrest that they were trying to save the nation by at least having Germans in positions of power, but these statements are nothing more than lies. We shall strip them of their towels and throw them into a prison cell for the rest of their miserable lives. Status of the Empire Our colleagues in Africa and Asia were left to fend for themselves while we were tackling the uh, pact threat. However, now that the war is over, we can finally assist their long abandoned colonies. <coughs> our dreams of a greater Europe. Now that we've established our free trade bloc, we've built the European countries, made new friends, formed new treaties. Now all that and more has been achieved, we believe it's time to say goodbye to the old boards of Europe. The old idea of the nation-state, it's time to establish a great European nation in peace and without conflict. Europe may be the cause of much of death and destruction, but together we've achieved more than any one man could dream of. What is an ocean without a wave, a city without a street, they are different things, yet they go together and live in harmony. I don't know how you get Burgundy, but Denmark, we get maybe Denmark, maybe Sweden, Norway, maybe Poland, Wallonia, and the Netherlands? That'd be pretty intense. And a ha division. Nice. Oh, also, I guess the guy's dead model? Sure, why not? Are these considered panzers? I'm not sure. We got these divisions. We got motorized. We've got horses. We've got infantry divisions. What are the infantry divisions? There you go. We got plenty of PP now. Um, The Italian dispute. Guinea Bid has claimed his claim the region to Tyrol, Istria, and Friul. Ever since their unification. Whilst we were on friendly terms with the Italian government on the topic of who should govern these regions, have remained a persistent thorn in their diplomatic relations, of course. Uh, the time's now come to decide whether these lands should stay under control or be ceded to the Italians. More division. De that's just division defense. That's not bad. Less supply consumption, though, that's probably where it's at. Beretta contract? No. But RSAF Enfield? What? No Moss. Tula. Of course, that's Tula. Uh, I'll go with these guys. Cost friendship. What do you mean, friendship? Hopefully, these guys agree to us. Right there? Oh, not Reinhardt. No. No. Ah, it's alright. <clears throat> End of the campaign. You can't always choose Adrish. Oh, we can't even do all these other focuses. What? I thought... So, you're going to go that. Please go ahead. Purchase the Aru Islands. Our oil lifeline. African Railways, German Cellar Initiatives, so it sounds amazing. Exploit Rare Earth Deposits, our green sites of the Sahara, as well as the United African Colonies. It would be so cool. We should have done that one, darn it. And then the Shanti Purchase, Congo Resource Rights, Modernized Colonial Armed Forces, and the Kazalish Conference. And then we'll probably do these again sometime later, these ones as well. Well, I do like that there's quite a story here. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Actually, I love stories so much. I'm a story type of guy. Not a story, but just story. Yeah, not bad. Independent free... Pro oh, we have... Oh, I thought we had semi-independent. Okay. Universal suffrage. We've got public meetings allowed. Limited women's rights. Racial segregation. Ooh. Ooh, racial hierarchy. Ooh. Preventative policing. 
uh, 12 hour work days, a bit much. Basic health care, basic education, basic welfare state, all trade unions allowed, slavery. Holy bad words. Europa unites. The city of Frankfurt was in jubilation today as the German government announced the formation of a new unified or united Europe, which consists of Germany itself, the Lowlands, Poland, and Scandinavia. These nations have put aside the cultural and political differences in the pursuit of establishing a better defended Europe. <coughs> Some nations, such as the historically neutral Switzerland, have announced their wishes to join the pan European state. The UK says it's welcomed this new political entity and wishes to continue the positive relations it had with forebear Germany. The united Europe is the greatest weapon that the globe has ever laid witness to. Slavery abolished. What? Fully westernized, fully modern military, very strong consumer confidence. Uh, illiteracy abolished, which is good. Industrialized, living to poverty. Uh, what else we have here? Disarmed. Oh, God, we're disarmed. Uh, no wonder our manpower keeps going down. So then economy, of course. German constitutionalism, German efficiency. Cool. And development-wise, we maxed it out. Poverty, industrialization, literacy. Oh, we're close for this one. So is economic health. But, you know, we got close. Holy crap. Now we have a total population of 170 some odd million. Jesus Christ. But I think that's pretty much it for us. I don't think there's anything else here. Too bad we couldn't use chemical weapons. Darn it. But hey, if that's going to be it, I, as I think there, it is it, I think we also got Poland. We didn't. Oh, we didn't get a cord though. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. We didn't get a cord. These. Oh, there we go. Thank you for playing Germany and thanks for everyone who helped me work on this nation. This is it. It's most likely the end of your game. Hope you had fun with the UK or the UK of Germany and bugs did not ruin your experience, which none, there were no bugs. <clears throat> as far as I remember. Maybe you would even not even see this event, but nonetheless, I want to express my thanks to everyone who helped me on Germany. Uh, of course, there's Vice, probably the best GFX artist I know in this community. He helped me early when I started working here, and his icons are just beautiful. With every single day that passed, the quality of his icons just became better and better. Thank you, Vice. Every localization writer helped me write focused descriptions, events, or decisions. English is not my main language, and long writing long, complicated text has always been putting my modding on a pause. But thanks to you guys, you're able to give lore and life to Germany. Thank you, Silent King, the gaming to Pierre, Erwin, Sobo, and Mimi. Thank everyone who helped me with coding, maybe from the development team or the mod co-op. You always helped me with a tedious hobby for code. I was able to advance my modding skills thanks to you and hope that I will learn a lot more from the future. Thank you, Bernie, Greston, Stallone, Fauci, Nilo, and Zero, Two Watt, and so many others. We all supported and helped each other so that we could be able to release this mod. I want to thank you so much more for bo like boring for the studio model experience, the music dudes, the people who made me laugh, and so many more, but we would reach the limit of the event space. <clears throat> Lastly, I want to express my own gratitude to be able to work on this mod. I've worked on uh, several Hoi 4 mods in the past, but this is the first one where I really felt like there was a vision for the setting, that there was a genuine desire to create fun gameplay for the players, and that is such a great development team. Thank you, Grustlin and Bernie, for accepting my application. Let's first time worked on major country on modding, including making custom mechanics. I learned to make new things, bear a lot of responsibility and experience, several pushbacks, but in the end, it's finished. PAX is finally coming back. And of course, my greatest thanks is to you, the player who decided to play this mod we all worked on. I hope you have a great day. And thank you, Lofen, and all those who helped him create this uh, path for Germany. It's awesome. Love it. The development will always continue with a free fat 1,000 PP. Because nothing says good times like PP. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a fat PP like. Subscribe if you're new. We saved the world. And uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous League of Nations rest of your day.